Hello, this is Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com with a tutorial for Lawrence Scott at Radio Lawrence on Twitter. Thanks for submitting this one. Mike, how do you create a megaphone effect in Adobe Audition? Well, it's a three-step process, and this is what I'd do. First of all, play the audio. Have a listen to this. The next train to arrive at Platform 2 has been delayed due to leaves on the line. Now, far too wide in dynamic range to qualify for a megaphone, so the first thing I'll do is go into the Effects menu, filter an EQ, FFT filter, and I'm going to chop out any frequencies below 300 hertz. That's cutting off most of the bass. And then I'll chop it at around here. Look, just over 8,000 hertz, which is losing your high frequency there. Click apply. The next train to arrive at platform two has been delayed. So we're getting closer now. Then I'd probably go into effects and we'd go into amplitude and compression, dynamics processing, and I'll add the preset boomy kick. This will just simply flatten down the voice a little bit because the megaphone is clearly loud and has very little dynamic range. And then finally into effects, and I'll probably go for special distortion and two presets i quite like for a megaphone style effect would be one snake skin let's audition that the next train to arrive at platform two has been delayed or you could go for the preset swamp thing this also works equally well for a megaphone effect let's apply and play the next train to arrive at platform two has been delayed due to leaves on the line and that's exactly how i'd go about generating a megaphone effect in adobe audition if you have a question for me, feel free to tweet me or leave a comment below this video. I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com.